guys, today we're looking at the cash crop, 6.3 hydro version. When you get your box in, the first thing you're going to notice is there's a screw on the outside. Now, that's a Phillips head screw, and what that is, that's actually your doorknob that we place on the inside for shipping purposes. So let's open her up, and you'll see your knob here. Just unscrew it, flip it around, put it on the outside. All right, let's get all this packing material out. Wow, these guys did pack this in here very well. All right, there's a reservoir and reservoir, power strip, CO2 enhancer. Let's get all this out of the way. All right, so what we've got here is first off, we're going to start with our reservoir. Of course, we're going to remove the tape. Open her up. Two holes and a small hole, and that's for your airline. We'll go over that in a second. First thing you're going to do is notice right there on top is your instructions with a packing list. You want to make sure you go over this and you received everything you, you, you were supposed to get. Okay, and we also have the instructions on your LEDs. And if, by the way, you plug this in and one of your LED strips don't work, there's a couple little switches in the back, make sure they're on. Okay, you've also got your, your feeding chart for your nutrients in here. Now, when you get this, like I said, you want to go over the packing list. First off, timer. It's a dual outlet. And what we're going to do, we're going to take all of your lights. You've got two on the side and one at the top. We're going to plug this, this light, this light, and this light into that power strip. And we're going to plug the power strip into the timer the timer into the wall. Make sure the switch on the side set the timer. All right, next up, we have a bag of grow stones. Now, our grow rocks, expanded clay pebbles, hydrogen, goes by a lot of different names. It's expanded clay. Now, when you get these, you want to rinse these off before you use them. They're dusty, and that'll keep, if you see any little red dust in the bottom of your water the first time you use it, it's probably dust off these that was still on them, okay? Next up, you're going to see you have a submersible pump. Now, this is only used once a week to change your water. What you do, you take the submersible pump and the black and the little hose that comes with it. You attach the hose to the nipple and you drop the pump down in the reservoir. Run the hose out the side and you're just going to pump this out. Now, you don't have to pump it all out every week. You're just trying to get the majority of it. So don't overthink it. Pump out most of it once a week and you'll be fine. Best thing to do is find a day of the week you're not busy and do it on that day. If you go a day or two over, it's not going to be the end of the world, I assure you. All right, next up, your air stone and airline. What you're going to do is uncoil it, of course, and you're going to lay your air stone right in the bottom of your reservoir. But you're going to take the end of it and run it through this small hole from the bottom out the top. And what you're going to do is attach it right here on the bottom of your air pump to this nipple. This is your air pump right here. Remember, air pump. Water pump. Air pump, once it's turned on, you never turn it off. You let that air pump run day and night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Unless you're changing your water and you just want to turn it off and maybe clean it off or something, it stays on the entire time. All right, next up, we have your net pots and your organic starter plug. Now in this system, you will receive two of them. And what you do, you take out your organic starter plugs. They're made out of sphagnum, peat moss, some organic materials. And they have a little bit of beneficial bacteria in them to help get your plants started and get your roots going. There's a little tiny hole in the top of each one pre-made. Take your seed, put it in there, and you'll just pinch off a little tiny piece of this. You'll put it in the hole and cover it. Now what you're doing here, you're just blocking the light out for right now and covering the seed. It's just like if you took your finger and stuck it in the ground and covered it with a pinch of dirt. Exact same thing, same principle. So you've got two of these, and you'll put one in each of these, and these go, of course, right into the top of your reservoir. Now, they don't have to sit perfectly flat or anything else. As long as they're in there, you'll be fine. And this is where your little rocks come in, your grow stones or clay pebbles. You'll take these, and you'll put a few around it just to stabilize the starter plug and help block any excess light. And while we're talking about light, heaven forbid one of them doesn't come up or you have to take one of them out and only grow one. If you ever do, just make sure you cover the open hole. No problem. You just don't want excessive light shining in open holes. It's a recipe for algae. So look, let's move on. All right, next up, you're also going to have your odor control. And it'll come with some Velcro. 
you'll attach one piece of the Velcro to this, and the other part to the back of your box on the back side, not on the inside, right underneath your fan, something like this, so that when your fan exhaust fan blows out, it blows across here to help you with your odor protection. If you're still having odor problems, give us a call. There's a lot of other solutions. Of course, your intake down here across the bottom is all carbon filter. There's carbon filter material in your exhaust and with this. So you've got quite a bit, but like I always say, depending on what you're growing, some things a little stronger than others. Anyway, so now that we've went over all this, of course, like I said, you're going to plug all that in. You're going to use this. This is your CO2 enhancement. Now, this is an option. It is a little extra money, but it is worth every penny. Now, the reason I say that is the recipe for yield is CO2 and light. Now, you have more than enough light in this box. Now, with this, what you're going to do is up your CO2 levels. It comes with five pads and two hangers. You take one pad out, put it on a hanger, put it on this hook that's already on your door. A couple times a week, spray it down. You're good to go. All right. Your advanced nutrients, simple as it comes. You can use it with distilled water or reverse osmosis, which is what we recommend. But we know sometimes that's not possible. And if you have to use some tap water, that's fine too. Just set it up, it's sitting out for at least 24 to 48 hours without a lid on it. Allow some of those chemicals to dissipate. Okay, your advanced nutrients, pH perfect three parts, grow, micro, and blend. This is one of the best nutrient packs, guys, that we can send you. No meters needed, no pH up and needed, no pH down needed. Use this. If you use two mils of grow, you use two mils of micro and two mils of bloom. If you use three, you use three, 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 four, 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 so on and so forth, depending on your feeding schedule. Like I said, if you use tap water, you might want to back it off a little because of the chemicals that's already in your water. Now, we've given you everything you need here to have success. But if you do have trouble, you can call us. 888-HYDRO81, or you can email me, bobatdealser.com. It's that easy.